What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're going to be talking about Terrifier 3 in this video here again today. So as we all know, if you're on Twitter, you definitely know. And if you're a Terrifier fan, you definitely know. But the film had its world premiere last night at Fantastic Fest. All the stars came out for it. And the reactions have started coming out. I think there's another screening that's supposed to take place tonight for the public. I could be mistaken, but I know some people from the public were also already posting reactions from their screening last night, so I'm a bit confused on that. But there's definitely another screening of Terrifier 3 taking place tonight at Fantastic Fest. Let's jump into these reactions. Oh, actually, before I get to that, Damien Leone, apparently, according to what else is online after this world premiere, confirmed that we are going to be getting Terrifier 4. So Terrifier 4 apparently got confirmed. Now, I can't recall if we actually already got that confirmed in the past or if it was just a talk up for discussion or a possibility that, yeah, we have a movie that's been broken down into two. I think that's what he said happened with Terrifier 3. It was broken down into two, but he's confirming we will get Terrifier 4. So we'll just we'll have to wait and see what comes of that, if anything. But let's dive into these reactions. Shout out to you, Cobb, because I'm going to start off with you. You say, Terrifier 3 blew the damn roof off. Gonzo slasher horror cranked up to 11, bursting with some of the most fantastically diabolical kills ever put to screen. The shower scene will go down in history. We have a new contender for best horror movie of the year. And then shout out to you, 3C Films. You said that Terrifier 3 does not hold back. A gruesome and festive ride. Everything Art the Clown fans want from another entry is here. Moody, dark aesthetic. Several batshit kills. Impressive practical effects. And Lauren Levera being a badass. I had fun with it and I have and I have my nitpicks too. Cody Leach says, Terrifier 3 is everything you want if you're a fan of the franchise. It nicely blends the tone of the previous two while pushing the lore and characters forward in interesting ways oh and it's brutal as fuck it looks at every boundary and crosses it with a twisted smile and we have another one here it said just saw terrifier 3 the gore tops the previous entries and art is more malicious than ever some gag worthy kills impressive as always thornton and lauren lavera still the show i still have a lot of questions about the story but otherwise i loved it i need more someone else chimes in terrifier 3 goes there and then goes 54 steps further, an absolute splatter fest of unseen proportions. Sour shower scene that will go down in history. Lauren Rivera is such a great lead. Lots of twisted and knee, neat toe dips into the lore. Getting very Hellraiser up in here. Here we have another one. Terrifier 3, ho ho, horrific and shocking. Art the Clown is back with sinister vengeance. Twisted holiday fun with gore galore. Violent climax that'll beat your meat. That'll beat your meat bloody whatever not just another scary movie is the best terrifier film ever a fitting in setting up what's next then we have here from sean chandler terrifier 3 goes hard from the opening scene and never lets up a sick twist on a christmas movie santa art provides new ways to deliver antics without repeating the past each kill sequence deliver something new gnarly and memorable a worthy follow-up and escalation of the series we have another one. Terrifier 3 is a gift to gore lovers thanks to Art's Christmas-themed carnage and festive dismemberment. However, as with Terrifier 2, the film is dragged out and, and scattershot storytelling is an issue. Art makes a mess of biblical imagery and holiday cheer. Then we have another one. Terrifier 3 is some absolutely depraved, sicko shit in complimentary way, of course. The movie looks amazing. Two split diopter shots. Oh, I can't wait for that. Uh, Lauren Levera has an all-timer final girl sequence, and David Howard Thorne absolutely rocks as Art the Clown once again. Then goes on to talk about the lore. He'll have another review here, or reaction. Terrifier 3 is truly evil, and I mean that in the best way possible. Grindhouse beyond Grindhouse. Truly sickening practical effects mixed with a lore that's getting more and more intricate. I don't know how Damien Leone tops this. Lauren Levera, the final girl so as you see a lot of people seem to be enjoying terrifier 3 now i will say out of the reactions i'm not seeing a lot of mention on storytelling with the characters not to say that there won't be i'm sure there is going to be something with lauren lavera's character and of course her brother but there is no real mention of sienna and how her story is handled just how lauren lavera does great as sienna i would like to know more about what went on with what we got <laughs> like how how are the characters it sounds like if anything this might lean a little bit too much into the gore and hopefully it doesn't do that because i thought that terrifier 2 did a nice job at balancing gore 
with some solid built up characters to invest in. Whereas the original Terrifier was just really focused on getting under your skin and then going in on all the gore. But I didn't really give a shit about the characters. It was just a constantly, competently made gore fest. So is Terrifier 3 just now a high budget gore fest with less details when it comes to the characters? I would hope not. I hope we're not going backwards in that regard. I'll still have faith that we'll get a good balance like we did in 2. But what do you guys think about these reactions? I'm looking forward to seeing Terrifier 3. I am again am going to do my best to try to see it before it comes out in theaters. If I cannot see it, then you will have a review up on the channel Thursday night after I get out from seeing it with the rest of everybody else in the public. Now, when it comes to the stuff that I put online as far as like rumored plot details, I haven't seen any confirmations on Blaster Man. I haven't gotten any confirmations on the flashback I've talked about with CNN and her dad. I haven't gotten any confirmations on Eddie and the bar fight that's supposed to go down with Art. But I do want to know about those things so that way I can come on here and talk about it with you guys. Just as I got done saying that, I did actually get a message confirming the bar fight and the flashback with CNN and her dad and the mention of Blaster Man, which again, Blaster Man is a character that Sienna's dad drew when she was a little girl. So you will get flashbacks during Terrifier 3 and there will be a bar fight and Blaster Man, the character I've been mentioning, does get, a, does get a line drop or two. You'll learn about Blaster Man a little bit further during those flashbacks. I did also see these cool new, cool new character posters that dropped. They look badass to me. Uh, but again, let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.